Yo, this is your girl Nyla Blackman representing for the Enforcers, Canada's number one soca sound. This is the Enforcers, and we have on the air an artist that is truly flying the cultural flag for Trinidad and Tobago worldwide. Singer, songwriter, dynamic performer, entrepreneur, soca royalty. Nyla Blackman, welcome back to the Soca Group. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good, good. First off, as a, as a proud Yuma DJ, I just want to commend your, your performance with Jupiter at uh, the uh, stage, a road to stage performance. It was excellent. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So let's talk about um, um, the, the, the theme of teams. So having a strong team is important uh, as an artist, and you have an incredible synergy musically with producer Anson Pro. How did that collaboration partnership begin? Um, funny enough, it started, I think, back in 2015. Yeah. Um, I met him at a publishing conference and um, we just hit it off. He actually used to hit me up to do background vocals for him. So <laughs> I started working, doing background vocals for his other artists at the time, Pretty. Yes. Um, and uh, like, I was just doing more pop and indie type music, not really soca per se. Um, and whenever he had free time, cause you know, as a producer, you have to try to make money to support your family. So whenever he had his like downtime, you know, he would stick me in for like a few hours or whatever. And um, I used to work with him like that, just on like random little projects. And if I would want to record like a cover song or whatever, you know, he would do me favors. Um, and then one day I came to him and I was like, you know, I, I think I want to do soca. And he was like, oh my God, I'm so happy you said it because, um, you know, every other producer that I went to that I told that I wanted to do soca, they were like, no, nah, don't do soca. Soca will spoil you. Like, mm -hmm. your voice is so nice and it's for this and it's for that. And like, so nobody was thrilled at the idea of me doing soca. And he was the first person that when I said I wanted to do soca, he was like, yes, let's do it. And that same day, we worked on workouts. And mm -hmm. that was my first ever soca song working with him. Um, like soca song as a grown up because I did soca when I was a child yes. um but yeah and then we got cast on the track and that the rest was history so that happened at the end of 2016 um so he and I would have been working for like around a little bit like a year and a half maybe you could say two years basically at that point in time yes. and then after workout you know he felt the need for me to have a manager and he then took up that whole other mantle to, to be my manager after that. So, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. So let's continue along the theme of, um, of a team surrounding you um, and touch on how did you assemble your band, Soka? Um, well, it's funny enough, Soka came a very, very long way. Soka, the band, I just have to say how proud I am of this band because um, I came such a long way with this band. When I started the band in 2017, you know, Anson Sal told me, Nyla, you're not ready for a band. And he was right. He was right. But I said, I want a band anyway because, you know, I'm a musician. I play the guitar and I really want to connect with my roots of being a musician and having musicians around me and not just having a DJ and you know performing like that so I still felt it was important for me to keep that side of me yeah. um, and I started off with a whole bunch of musicians actually I had a whole other drummer I had a whole other I had a whole other everything yeah. and I had I got a keyboardist Janine and she's the musical director of my band yeah. and um, at first, like when I started with her um, and a whole bunch of other musicians, um, some of those musicians fade away. And then I, I got my drummer, Hedley, and my uncle, Daniel, he had just came back from China. And um, the guitarist I had at the time had was really busy and couldn't do the gigs that I wanted to do. I wanted to do Soka Origins in 2017. Yes. And my uncle Daniel said, don't worry, like I'll play for you. I'll fill in, I'll do, I'll do whatever you need. He wasn't planning to stay in Trinidad, but yes. just so happened his, cause he came back to Trinidad just for vacation. Um, and while they were here on vacation, his wife's dad died and wow. they didn't want to leave her mom like all alone, you know? So 
he ended up staying in Trinidad. And so because he stayed in Trinidad, he stayed in my van, you know? Wow. Yeah. And um, so, he, so he's now in my van and we went through like three other samples, guys. Like we went through so <laughs> many different musicians. Like I had a whole horn line, I had basses, like everything. So basically it just kind of all the, all those other musicians just kind of faded away after a while. And the people that I started with for the first Soka Origins, being Janine, the, my keyboardist, musical director, yeah. um, my drummer, Headley, my uncle, Daniel, yeah. and then um, our, our samples guy. Yeah. Um, I think it was 2019, before Soka Origins, um, I went to Second Star and I, told, I was like, Second Star, you know, I really, really need a new samples guy. Like the one I have right now is not working out. Yeah. I really need a new one. And he was like, okay, well, you could borrow my sample, man. But if you take him, you and I will fall for life. And I said, okay, no problem. I'll just borrow him and I'll give him back. <laughs> I still have him. <laughs> Big up second star. <laughs> so, so Miles is now my samples guy. I mean, he still works with second star as well. But, yeah. you know, second star is probably just not doing as much. But, um so yeah we've been we've been working strong and funny enough i don't have a basis anymore mm -hmm. but it's fine because my keyboard is actually she plays the bass and okay. plays keys at the exact same time wow. she she plays the bass on the keys yes. so um it's a four piece it's very small and compact now and i i like it like that so yes. excellent excellent talk about uh, nyla blackman the entrepreneur and the boss moves that you're making uh explain to the world what nyla la is it's Nailala. Nailala. It's, okay. it's spelled like Nailala. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Nailala is a semi-acrylic press-on nail. So okay. over the COVID, over the COVID lockdown, um, you know, I love to go get my nails done. I also play the guitar. So sometimes, you know, sometimes I'll want long nails to look fancy. And then other times I will need to have short nails because I play the guitar. Yes. And I always just find it so hard when you go and you sit down and you get your nails done for like a whole two hours and then you have to like take it off prematurely because yeah. you have a gig and you have to play your guitar and it's just so inconvenient sometimes and just being not being able to go to the salon yeah. during quarantine it just had me thinking I was like you know like press on nails would be fire like it would <laughs> I would actually it would actually be cool but I don't just want like you know the cheap quality that you get in the drugstore yeah. like I want proper quality that is real good and you know as I, I was I was talking, speaking to my nail tech Carla mm -hmm. she was like you know Nyla it's it's not feasible to do full-on acrylic nails because there's a reason why girls come and get their sets done she said it costs a lot of money you'll never be able to make back the money if you if you do um acrylic nails and i was like you know what you're right you're the expert at this so how about we find a, mi a middle ground how about we do how about we do the the nails like that is what press on nails are but then also make them semi-acrylic so that they have a tougher better quality right. and she was like that's a fantastic idea yeah. so she and i put our heads together i come up with these designs because you know i like certain things and i'm selling it and it's my brand so yeah. she does the entire production right out of her salon in Trinity. Right. um so creative nails by carla and nyla came together mm -hmm. and formed to form the brand nail lala which Excellent. is semi-acrylic press on nails ladies ladies check out nail lala Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So let's talk about uh, an incredible new project that you have that we've been playing on the radio, uh, Melancholy. How did this song come together um, and what's it all about? Well, um, for starters, as 2021 began, mm -hmm. you know, everybody thought when 2020 was over, it was going to be like, boom, reset, back yeah. to great life. But yes. it didn't really happen like that, you know, just kind of like an extension of 2020. Yes. You know, carnival was canceled. That's a big deal yeah. for people like me. You know, um, carnival is not just our bread and butter, but it, you know, it's culture. It's the energy, it's the vibe. It's what keeps us pushing for the rest of the year. Yeah. And it's such a big part of who we are as Trinidadians. And um, like just the thought of 
not having carnival like i didn't i didn't have soca origins which was my concert that i do every year for my yeah. birthday in december yeah. um everything is changing you know everything's different nothing's the same you know you can't just go and hang out with a bunch of friends and throw a party you can't just do the things that you're used to doing and like even with relationships like so many relationships in my life shifted or ended in 2020 and I was like wow this is such a serious thing so many people I know families died you know a lot of people were going through turmoil like even within my family so many things happened to people that I just did not foresee and you know life can get you really down sometimes but all these changes can make you feel very overwhelmed, anxiety. There's all these things that we don't necessarily talk about in soca yes, yes. or pay attention to. And I was like, you know, I want to sing a song that acknowledges the bad, but makes you understand that there's good ahead and that there's more to come and that you can get over any trial or tribulations you may be facing, any sad or down time. There's a song to keep you true. And I just want to tell my truth of how I was feeling. I didn't want to just write a song that would have been a song that okay maybe I think this is what people want to hear like I wanted to write something real something from my heart yeah. to actually touch somebody this year because I think um in this cycle of carnival that we have you know you'll be like okay let's write a song for the road or write a song yeah. for this or that you know carnival sort of dictates the level of our content and I was like you know I just want to create content that just feels like me how I feel right now how I might feel tomorrow how I felt yesterday you know so that's where my uncle came from it came from my heart mm -hmm. and I think it's music for the soul so yes. yeah excellent excellent song so let's uh let's talk about your virtual content that's coming up today so everybody after the show we're going straight over to fire let them know about fire what's fire all about so fire is literally the most fire concert you're probably gonna <laughs> see for 2021 like it's crazy honestly this show is gonna be magical you yeah. have to tune in because I just took all of my fire traps yes. and I played them with my fire band and I did some fire choreography to it and I just <laughs> wanted to make it lit for you guys. Yeah. Even my nails are lit like they're <laughs> flames. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, th that's what it's all about. It's all about just lighting it up, burning away all the bad of yesterday, of 2020, of whatever. So um, I'm sharing old songs, new songs, um all songs that are reworked you know i put a lot of time and energy into this concert yeah. and i really hope you guys enjoy it yeah. tune in at 8 p.m don't be late come on <laughs> excellent so um uh, nyla tell them how they can catch it on youtube and all your other social handles how they keep up to date with you yes yeah, so you guys can catch it on my youtube nyla blackman official and you guys can also view it on d music app as well so download that d music app if you guys want to just stream it straight from your phone or you can do it on youtube either way um and make sure to stay tuned to everything that's going on on my social media at nyla blackman and facebook instagram tiktok twitter whatever else i think that's it yeah Amazing. so stay tuned thank you so much nyla have a good day lit thank you All right, bye <laughs>